I think Merlin was kind of like the servant everyone wanted to get get a buff, but like no one actually thought he was going to get one. Uh, I know with Lady Avalon coming out, people, myself included, saying, "Okay, Merlin start Merlin showing his age right now. What is Lasagna gonna actually do to make bring Merlin back into the meta?" They actually brought him back in a fairly good way, and any servant that has ma max out mana loading and their 50% charge, whether it's one uh, instance or split between uh, split between other skills, if they're able to loop uh, get back 50% in one turn, uh, under five turn cooldown, they are able to Buster Farm with Merlin. He is able to be a plug suit support that would start out first and then you plug him out for Vich. Uh, yeah, like this is really all Merlin needed. And for servants lacking attack buffs and you don't want them bricked by Oberon, Merlin's gonna be your best option for farming now. So let's get started. Merlin caster not lady avalon even though a lot of people are more used to using lady avalon these days myself included uh base tack we don't care that much he's the support he's not supposed to be doing damage although he has so much goddamn crit in this kit it's not supposed to be popped on him hp higher to compensate for the low attack but this is not let me like say it again this is not high hp it's higher because this number is lower but this is in 15k this is in even 1470 or 14.8k that's like can be rounded up like pretty close it's decent and he has enough healing in his kit that it kind of doesn't matter it's just more hp would have been more it would have been harder to kill him Uh, star weight, star gen, these are normal caster numbers. MP charge is healthy at 0.81% with a triple arts deck. Uh, he probably is going to be critting on these uh, because of how his MP works. Like once you get it ramped up, he's just going to be, uh, it's just going to be get easier and easier to loop his MP. Six hit extra attack, five hit on Buster and quick is three hits. Uh, very nice deck for considering the year he came out. This was uh, right with Babylonia. And there is this one, which very festive, very nice. And then there's this one where he's just wearing glasses. Uh, you decide which one looks better. Um, for me, it's kind of obvious. All right, first skill, 20% attack and a guaranteed 20 battery for everyone. Uh, just in case you didn't know, with both Merlin and Lady Avalon, the 20 battery is guaranteed and you're only leveling for percentages of attack. Just thought everyone should be aware of that. And this is actually what people thought was gonna be buffed. People thought this skill was gonna be buffed. Oh, no, 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 not yet. If they decided to buff this skill, which Honestly, it's kind of unlikely because usually the reason they buffed charisma wasn't because it was uh, they thought like 20% wasn't enough because it wasn't, but that was 20% by itself. Any charisma that has like other effects already on it, it's probably lower on the priority list for being buffed than a flat 17% attack for three turns that does nothing else. What they did decide to buff was his uh, party-wide invul. Before it was one turn of invul, uh, star gen, 50% for one turn, and then reduced crit attack chance for three turns. Good survival, but we haven't really needed something like this since uh, Castoria came out. Uh, and for a lot of comps, you would be using Merlin with Castoria. Now, the invul is the same. One uh, full party for one turn. Sargent's up from one turn to three turn. Nice, because God forbid Buster crit servants have um, have difficulty getting Buster crits. Why not make it so they can make Buster stars or stars from their Buster MPs even easier? 
uh and not only that it gave everyone 50 percent crit damage lasting for three turns this honestly pairs so well with his third skill considering that crit buff only lasts for one turn uh this is just very nice to just carry the forward and the big thing even though it's a very small battery this is what was needed for merlin to actually be able to be used in buster farming so if you had a servant that had maxed out mana loading and they were starting with a 50 percent ce they were at 70. you would have to have used like rainus right uh rains rainus however you want however her name is pronounced you would have to use her for the split charge just because you didn't have enough this 30 is literally all merlin needed to be able to use as a plug suit support however there is a huge 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 caveat with this because you're not popping your dps's battery on turn one the cooldown has to either be five turns across the different skills or five turns on that one skill or you need the th um the fifth of pen to reduce the cooldown by one for this to happen so with the anniversary this was calculated like the pen was always going to go live it's just i think they ran out of time to get everything else implemented for it um or what up like they probably weren't decided on how they wanted to like fully fix serving coins uh and they wanted to throw this out like this buff was like prepared for it and they wanted to see how like the units that could already use it could you use it like basically whoever like paid for the serving coins or people that had leftover serving coins but you really can't be doing that and locking more farming methods than just the basic one which is already locked behind the pens um you can't like the whole thing with mana loading you can make up for that that can be made up by using a different ce you cannot make up um skill cooldown reduction for buster servants you can't there is no ce that lets you reduce your skill cooldowns uh after you pop the skill that doesn't exist um you can't bring atlas to do farming because you need plug suit to bring in oberon this is this was a problem that existed with buster looping since its inception but it had less to do with the system itself and more with the servants that are using it So this is another buff that it's we're not going to see the full full effects of it most likely uh until after we have it we have uh the servant coin fix however there is one servant and it is so fucking funny that it's her that it really really doesn't matter whether or not she had skill cooldown reduction and unironically, that's Artoria Saber. Because she refunded 20 off the MP, you didn't need, and her battery is not tied to damage. You never needed to pop it on turn one in the first place. It just made more sense because 30 battery and then you can MP. Is Merlin going to actually replace Oberon in farming? Probably not. Most servants need Oberon, but now like this is an option for events because when are you most likely to be using a 50% CE? JP has far since moved away from starting from 50 and has been at starting with zero for well over two years now. Um, so this buff is most most of the time is going to be CUs in events where you're already starting from 50 and your DPS already has mana loading unlocked. Merlin is going to be used. I think that's awesome just because now people have a reason to be like using Merlin. He's able to be uh, getting his bond level without just sitting in the back line. Uh, you're actually able to use him in the game. Unfortunately, it's farming. Like they didn't give us a node where like it's not it's not like a storm pod node. Storm pod node, 
Mer Merlin could possibly see more value just because if you're bond point farming, you're not exactly concerned that much with clearing it in three turns. You're more concerned with getting it done and getting what, like 40, 50, 60% more bond points than you would have without it. Uh, or trying to like build your team around doing it in three turns. Uh, yeah, like storm pods, like I like getting them done in three turns, but you don't have to get them done in three turns if you don't want to. Third skill, 50% buster up, max HP goes up 3k, and one turn of 100% crit damage. Uh, if you don't need the crit damage, Merlin can be, you just pop this and then plug suit him out. Um, if you do care about the crit damage, uh, I do believe it depends on the setup, but Merlin, I'm pretty sure, has to be popping his skills in turn one. There is no exception to it. So, I mean, if there's a high health enemy in turn one, like the most recent 90 plus plus uh, for like the event, then like the, this is actually a really good thing because you need that crit damage for that turn. Although like 300,000 HP, is not an easy hurdle to do in buster farming uh from like the first like on the first turn it's not easy to do that there aren't that many uh buster servants that are out able to output 150,000 damage on turn one you do not see that from mp1s uh maybe 120s and mp5s not from a 90 mp1 but merlin brings something to the table that other supports just don't. He brings attack and buster along with little batteries. Uh, if you do normal buster farming, you know that Vich does not provide bu uh, attack buff. Oberon does not provide an attack buff. If your unit is like oversaturated in buster and MP damage, their max potential damage is not gonna go up that much higher than you introducing a new type of buff. Granted, it's only 20% attack, but if your DPS has very high base attack, uh, they don't have many attack buffs themselves, you're gonna see at least a difference. Is it gonna be more than Oberon? Absolutely not. But don't you wanna save Oberon for farming comps when you actually need Oberon and not bond 15 him on bond farming Morgan when she does not need Oberon's huge battery and kind of doesn't need that damage either. Um, yeah. So his skills, they stand the test of time and this actually brings him into the meta. Has the skills, 8% arts, debuff success rate up 6% and 5% gauge per turn. And it works with his MP and partially why, like, he is spamming his MP all the time. Append skills. Uh, mana loading. And definitely skill reloading. If you have MP2, this is what you should be going for. Uh, he doesn't need it. It's just nice in his stall comps that he can just pop his batteries, like, a turn earlier, especially. And like, but after that, it's going to fall off. Uh, very similar to mana loading, but like mana loading, Merlin starts off pretty slow. This buff makes it so he doesn't start as slow, but it's still kind of slow. MP. Heals the party every turn, uh, 1K at MP1 every turn for five turns. Gives the party an, a 5% battery every turn for five turns. And then OC... Stars per turn based on OC. Starts at 5, goes up to 25. This MP is very spammable. And it is very, like, once you truly start ramping it up and Merlin's arts cards are, like, guaranteed to be critting in arts chains, you're probably going to be, like, double, if not triple stacking this MP. But again, it completely depends on your party whether you're actually able to spam enough for that. If you're in an arts comp, kind of shouldn't be using Merlin in that case. It should be Lady Avalon. 
but this is more for like invincible comp uh morgan with uh morgan with merlin and castoria and then you're just probably not gonna die and this crit buff definitely helps morgan and now you have a party-wide uh interval for if castoria's shields go down like either they're gone or like the timing for your comp is just off and like you need like Castori didn't have her uh mp and the cadence you needed it like uh instead of like an mp every three turns you unfortunately got drained and now you have to wait an extra turn like this symbol is what's gonna save you oh merlin 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 you need so many fucking different mat like gold mats it is oh my god oh, it almost makes me sick dickhead why is he such a dickhead chat you need so many gold mats oh almost almost forgot bon ce 10 percent buster up while he's on the field and then 15 percent for damage while he's on the field is Merlin a character you should have in your Caldea? Yes. Do I think he's absolutely must summon? No. If you have Lady Avalon, you do not need to summon for Merlin. But if you want, like, if you want someone to, like, work better in certain comps than Lady Avalon, because Lady Avalon, her whole kit is based on a three turn cadence not the five turn there is a lot more pressure especially at lower copies there's a lot more pressure for you to be like constantly popping lady avalon's mp than it is merlin merlin if he doesn't get in three turns you're just not double popping like merlin is merlin is much more relaxed in when you need to be popping his mp as long like as long as you're not only popping it once every five turns you shouldn't be running into like issues with it. Like you should always have stars. You should always have healing. Uh, you should always be getting like five to 10 gauge per turn. And again, Lady Avalon, if you only have uh, MP1, similar cadence. Yeah, no, okay. So MP1 Lady Avalon versus MP1 Merlin. It's much more relaxed with Merlin. MP2 or higher. No, M MP3 or higher is when you start like they're matching values but uh lady avalon still needs to keep her up time today's my birthday i'm not gonna treat myself to getting merlin on my jp account uh i have him on na and i've had him for the longest time on na like merlin is literally the first support i got for her my jp account i mean my na account like ever he's the first one i remember summoning for him during summer four uh original run like that merlin raid up i remember that was the first time i got jack uh jack the ripper too uh there is a lot of uh memories with merlin from me starting early in the game this guy definitely carried me when i had absolutely no idea what the meta was and didn't realize that the meta was scotty and i was a good couple months off from getting scotty uh is this biased yeah but the newer your account is the better merlin is for you he is a sustain and now you can use him in farming effectively is it the most effective no but as long as you're able to do the no does it really matter all right uh speaking of birthday my birthday gift to myself is going to be probably mp2 co i wasn't going to uh go for banners uh and i said if tom mo was the five star i would do co but merlin is pretty it's close enough i did say merlin i was guessing merlin or tom mo uh so yeah mp2 co um Let's just hope for Plushy's sake that it's actually Summer Koyan. Otherwise, he is actually going to lose his shit. And I, I genuinely feel bad that there was no tail fluff for um, Plushy to be huffing this anniversary and possibly this summer.
maybe he gets summer cat and then he's, he's huffing the most copium, copium tail fluff of them all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.